Andre Cole has been acclaimed America's foremost inventor of magical effects, and was unanimously named Inventor of the Decade by the International Magician Society. He has invented more than 1,000 tricks to date. In the magical profession he is considered to be one of the three leading magical inventors. Several of the best known magicians in the world use his inventions. For 20 years he has worked closely with magician David Copperfield, who he regards as his best friend. They have collaborated to create more than 100 different illusions for the stage and television shows. Hi, my name is David Copperfield. Through the years, Andre Cole has not only been one of my closest friends, but he's also been a creative consultant for my TV specials. I had a desire to become a world-famous magician. During the time I was in high school and college, I used to practice 10 to 12 hours a day during the summertime. And I remember way on back uh, something that I very seldom share. I think that I was really on the verge of getting involved in the occult. And I began to think how I could start my own religion. Uh, I developed different ways of concentrating on a watch or clock, causing it to stop, or concentrating on a glass and it burst into pieces. And obviously these were magic tricks, but I got the idea of starting maybe my own religion. But one day, I, Sunday, I felt like uh, going to church and as I was walking along, it was just like a warm coat was put around me. Something like uh, John Wesley said, I felt my heart strangely warmed. I just felt a love in the presence of God and it lasted all through the church service until afterwards. As a result of that experience, I lost all interest in trying to create a religion. And I became very interested in studying the miracles of Christ from the point of view of a magician. Because I realized that if the miracles are real, then Jesus was real. If they were not real, then he was the biggest liar, trickster, and imposter the world has ever known. Dr. Paul Kurtz, one of the 10 most influential atheists in the world, said in one of his books, the reason Christianity has succeeded for so long suggests that Jesus was extremely successful in his craft and perhaps the most successful magician who has ever lived. Well, the problem with that is Dr. Paul Kurtz is not a magician, but I am. I have over a thousand inventions in my field. I've worked with the world's greatest magician, David Copperfield, on probably over a hundred different illusions, such as making the real Statue of Liberty disappear for a few moments. So I don't pretend to know a lot about theology, but there's one thing I know a great deal about, that's the subject to magic. And I discovered there are 11 different reasons why it had been impossible for Jesus to have been a magician. If Jesus was a magician, now recently I did a television special for uh, the BBC and the uh, Discovery Channel and on the miracles of Jesus and they wanted to know if I could walk on water. Well, 10 or 15 years ago I developed an illusion of walking on water that we can present on the stage with a big water tank and uh, things go under my feet and over my head. But they wanted to know if I could walk on water on a river or a lake somewhere and I said, yeah, maybe I can. So I became the first person in history to be able to give public demonstrations of walking on water. But I make it very clear, as I did on the television show, that uh, it took me a number of months and thousands of dollars to develop the techniques that I was able to fool them with, with walking on water. So I often say that if Jesus had been a magician, then you'd have to visualize 2,000 years ago, Jesus and the disciples walking through the dusty streets of Galilee in their long robes and sandals with three diesel trucks falling along behind to carry all the equipment that had been necessary for him to be a magician. So it really goes beyond any possibility that he could have been a magician. But uh, 
If Jesus had been a magician, that would mean that his 12 disciples would have had to know how he did them. And not one of them ever exposed anything they did, even as worst enemies. None of my staff would die for me by saying that Andre Cole presents real miracles. I told them if they ever exposed any of my magic tricks, uh, they'd lose their salvation. So I hope you know I'm kidding, but I tell people, if Jesus had been a magician, well, Judas would have gone on national television wearing a mask and exposed all of his tricks. So it was through my investigations from the point of view of a magician that really led me to eventually uh, receiving Christ. And I think the best description of my conversion was Jeremiah, where God said, you shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. And so I, as a result of that, uh, I, Christ came into my life. My life was changed. And that was really a turning point in my life at that time.